Well, the cool down is mm -hmm. coming. That, that, that front keeps inching closer yeah. and closer to us, yeah, right? Yeah, it's knocking on our door. It is oh so close. And, mm -hmm. you know, for those of you who uh, have just been tuning in, I've been talking about this all week long, tracking it, and it is really going to be finally here in the next few hours. Already the rain is impacting our friends over on the West Coast, Naples, Everglades City, stretching even through Palm Beach County. And that line of showers will continue to move across interior, the spine of the peninsula Miccosukee, and then eventually head into Broward and Miami-Dade. For now, we're quiet, but you may have noticed the clouds are building as expected and the winds are increasing and then the front will push through, but we'll be warm and humid ahead of it and then it's a frigid start tomorrow. If you need to be outside tomorrow early in the morning, you will need to bundle up. Lots of layers. We're talking the heavy coats, the scarves, the boots, the faux fur, whatever you have to keep warm because it is going to be cold and blustery and it's going to stay cool through the afternoon even though it'll be sunny and beautiful, by the way. It's going to be a gorgeous winter weekend here, South Florida style, but still very frigid. Sunday could be even colder, in fact, anticipating that, and then milder in the afternoon before we start warming up early to middle of next week. Here's the deal. It's going to be the coldest it's been since Christmas, and that was cold. Lows in the 40s with the wind chill. It's going to feel like the upper 30s tomorrow morning. Check out the lows in Central Florida, 30s there, 20s in the Panhandle, and the humidity is going to also be dropping like a rock. So today, you may have noticed it's a little muggier, but then that is all changing as we go into the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. It is going to feel refreshing. We have good hair days ahead. All right, as we look ahead to next week, the humidity will start to creep up. For right now, we're into the upper 70s. The winds have already begun to increase 13 to 18, 21 miles an hour, and highs will reach around 81 in Miami, 79 in Fort Lauderdale, right around 80 for everyone. Here comes the rain and it'll move through quickly. I mean, we're talking 1, 2 p.m. and then it's out of here by 3 p.m. And we may see a few brief downpours, but then the dry cold air settles in. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up with a low to mid 40s in Broward. It'll feel like the upper 30s and low 40s with the wind. In Miami-Dade County, more in the way of the mid to upper 40s, the 50s across the Keys. Sunday will be even colder. We'll wake up with the upper 30s inland, the low 40s along the coast for Broward and Dade, 50s for the Keys. And again, keep in mind, during the day, it'll stay cool, especially tomorrow, 62, 68 Sunday. Monday, we wake up with the 50s for MLK Day and the high mid-70s, 80s back by next Wednesday.